So the flash continued on, unfortunately, for for all, for everyone's sake, you know. Well, do you continue on with resurrection? Can you guess who got resurrected? Oh, that's right. We found out that the Black Flame is really the long-lost ghost of Ronnie Raymond. Uh, apparently it was trapped in the ether or some such. Yeah. Um, they do do this bit where they try to explain why the Black Flame, you know, was killing these other people and uh, they got all oh, that was drawn by grief and stuff like that. So at least they did it. I don't even remember the particulars because it's like, who cares? Um, so, yeah, they, they actually brought the actor back and they, they, they showed some old scenes and they created new ones to show all oh, the, the love that Caitlin and Ronnie had and all that stuff. Uh, so, of course, Caitlin uh, wants to do what she can to restore him. Uh, but meanwhile, uh, Cecil, she says that for using her psychic power, she felt that Ronnie really just wanted to die. You know, because he was in pain and stuff. And so they had to uh, figure out a way to just go ahead and destroy the entity so that he could pass on. And that's what the Flash wanted to do. And he actually does show up. He suits up and everything. How about that? You, you get a few seconds of the Flash. Um, and uh, he manages that once again, they use their little sphere thing. And uh, he captures the entity. But then uh, Frost goes and tells Caitlin what they're up to. So Frost and Caitlin show up somehow catching up with the Flash. But anyway, they do. And uh, they freeze the sphere. And the Black Flame escapes. And then uh, Caitlin has the little, I don't know, molecular splitter thingy, whatever the hell they call it, having to do with the thing that uh, they used way back when, when they first introduced Firestorm and all that. Only to boot him out so they could bring in the other guy and all that stuff. But anyway, uh, she puts it on him and, oh, it works. So the Flash was wrong. Or was he? Uh, so, but he's a little distracted because, uh, the other story <laughs> with, uh, Iris and her time powers seemingly zapped this, uh, you know, Phantom Girl's, uh, uh mother. And, uh, so Phantom Girl wants revenge, so she comes up, grabs Iris, and somehow phases her out of reality, I guess. And so Sue's like, oh, oh. so then she tells Barry, Iris is gone. So he's not too happy about that. Meanwhile, uh, Caitlin uh, is, well, hey, she's got Ronnie back. Isn't that great? Well, something's not right. <laughs> so she goes up to him and he turns around. His eyes are all black and I'm not Ronnie. And uh, he was just using Ronnie, I guess, an aspect. They'll probably do something where there's a little bit of Ronnie in there and we'll save the day in the end or some crap. I don't know. Um, but... So he transforms into Deathstorm. I mean, that's how they do it. Now I'm Deathstorm. So he's Deathstorm. Gee, who's Deathstorm? Well, that's uh, originally it was uh, the Black Lantern version of Deathstorm in the uh, Blackest Night series. And they actually do mention Blackest Night in here. But the problem with that, they've not established Green Lantern. Uh, they had all that, they teased it with John Diggle and all, and then didn't follow through and did nothing with it. And earlier on, they had Barry Allen say, ah, there was a story about that test pilot disappearing, and it was obviously a nod to Hal Jordan. Well, they never followed up on it or anything. Uh, probably because they kept having, wanting to do a new film series or what have you. Uh, there's supposed to be this HBO Max series, but all of who knows what the Warner Discovery deal now finalized and there's a word yes they're gonna reshuffle the deck <laughs> when it comes to all the DC properties and uh, try to get that uh, and it, it needs help I mean it's, it's had its hits but not nearly enough and it's had a lot of clumsiness and uh, yeah you know, sort of near misses and then just outright failures and the CW good lord you've got two shows Basically, that's it. The Flash is done. It ran its course a long time ago. Uh, and it's sad because it was once fairly good. And Arrow was damn near a dare Netflix Daredevil level stuff when it started out, you know. But I don't know. Just everything went crazy and stupid and their dumb team this and team that template with their nerd soap operas. 
Ugh, it just dragged it down. So there's really nothing to salvage there. You've got Superman, but it doesn't need to be a part of anything, really. <laughs> so you can keep that show going. <laughs> and Stargirl showed some potential. The second season was pretty weak. But maybe they can pick it up in the third. But, you know, that's it. That's it. Everything else they got just needs to go. Uh, the Flash apparently will continue for another season. Uh, but Grant Gustin will barely be in it. <laughs> so, <laughs> he's barely in this one. So, you know, what? <laughs> uh, even when he's there. So, uh, and, if, and it won't have as many episodes, which is something they should have done all along because they just don't have the material for this amount of episodes. So, guess that's what they should have done. Still, uh, Blackest Night was something that was rumored that they might pursue after they did Crisis and Elseworlds and all that. And then, oh, this is what they'll do next. Uh, but they just don't have anything resembling that from the comics. There's no Green Lantern. They could, they, you know, maybe they wanted to, and but they just, it, they just couldn't do it. I suspect it had probably had more to do with that. Uh, but it probably would have been god awful. You know, it's too bad. So. It's just like, don't even bother, but uh, I guess they'll do it. And the idea being that they can now have uh, a zombieized version of uh, Green Arrow to return, and so Stephen Amell can show up, even though apparently he's going to be in, in the next season of Witcher. So he's got that going, but he might show up and do a guest starring thing uh, as undead uh, Green Arrow. So that's the deal. Uh, a, a Green Lantern story with no... No Green Lanterns. Uh, I guess it'll just be Deathstorm doing this, resurrecting dead people, um, and tormenting the living with them and all that. Because it's basically Pet Cemetery. you know. They're not really... They're just being used by this, I don't know, necromancing force. Uh, and these souls are just being trapped and used, and it torments the loved ones uh, that they had and that sort of thing. Uh, so, yeah, I guess they could get something out of it, but uh, the crossovers are always terrible. So, anyway, there you go. There's Death Storm. And I think they did another Death Storm when they did the Crime Syndicate deal, which is something they could have done in the Flash series. is much smaller scale with the cast. You know, you just have... Of course, they never really... Well, yeah, they did. They've introduced uh, Superman so they could have the Ultraman, and uh, they never did introduce Wonder Woman. So, uh, yeah, so, oh, well, I guess they can't do that. So anyway, uh, but there was a death storm, I think, part of the, when they expanded on the crime syndicate, that they had more uh, members rather than just the main ones, you know? And so there was a death storm there too, I think. I guess that's what they called him, but it pretty much looked the same, you know, the skull and everything. So um, there you go, death storm. Uh, maybe they'll bring back the other guy, the Jason Rush version of uh, Firestorm, and, and or not. I guess it doesn't really matter. <sighs> Sometimes you just stay too long, you know. And it certainly was the case with the CW superheroes. All right, that's it.